I just spent a long week in the Florida Everglades trying to convert alligators to Christianity. And you know what I realized? I haven't had asparagus with a little bit of cheese sauce on top in a long time. And you know what else has a lot of cheese on it? Delicious lasagna. I've had lasagna on my mind a lot this week for a couple of reasons. First of all, because I'm a fat ass. Second of all, because of all of the references to Garfield that were smattered throughout my last video. The zombies are feline. Do I want to become Garfield? And third and finally, most importantly of all, is this album. Superliminal was recently released by the band Nothingness, and as soon as I saw it, I knew that I had to get my thoughts on it out in this post. When I say that an album cover is cheesy, I don't mean it in a bad way, I mean that it literally reminds me of delicious cheese. And this is one of the cheesiest album covers that I have seen in a long time. I realize that it might be a little bit more colorful than the cheese that you're used to, but when you get the meltiness just right, the color doesn't matter. Melt crayons properly, You've got cheese. And besides, have you ever seen port wine? In an effort to purge my mind of all these lasagna thoughts, I've decided to make this video as a tribute to some of my favorite lasagna looking album covers, and also with the 72 hour cranberry juice fast. Before I go any further, I just want to give a quick shout out to any albums featuring actual gore on the cover. It's not that I don't want to show them, it's just that there's so many to choose from. And a lot of them look more like lasagna than actual lasagna. So that's an honorable mention to all of my gore-filled brethren and cistern... cistern... cistine... Alligators in the Sistine Chapel. Now one of the first albums that came to mind was one that was discussed way back in Band of Monday number six. And this is of course where we discovered the lasagna mountain of the formless entity. Or at least I think that's what I said. I don't I don't really rewatch my old videos. Well regardless of whatever I might have said before or not, here is Soul Diminished by Celestial Sanctuary. And yes, it does bring uh, it does bring a feel of maybe overbaked lasagna, but many people wouldn't want to have it any other way. Many people prefer the crispy cookie, the the crunchy edge of the uh, of the brownies, or the um, crispy maroon lasagna. Who am I to judge psychopaths? Believe it or not, this isn't the only lasagna-based cover in the Sanctuary of Celeste's catalog. Just look at the bacon bits turning around here, entrapped within the rank membrane. In biology, membrane is defined as a layer. And you know what else has layers? Yeah. Let's move on now to some vintage lasagna with incantations onward to Golgotha. I spent 13 years in the Catholic school system, so I recognize a good holy lasagna when I see one. With this, we actually have lasagna on both sides of the effigy. I'm not sure if it's two separate dishes or just one that has been sliced in half, but what I admire most here is the concept of consuming the lasagna directly through your forehead. Let's next take a look at an album that I consider a dream catcher of sorts because I have a flag of it that hangs over my bed, and that is An Unexpected Reality by Gate Creeper. Really, it's only half lasagna with uh, several of these Freddy Krueger iterations uh, emerging from the void to do battle with one of them Game of Thrones lizards. I think we can all agree that the world would be a much better place if lasagna whirlpools emanated from the void more often. And you know what else has a whole lot of lasagna faces? That is correct. The one and only Altars of Madness by Morbius, by, by Mor, by Morbid, by, by, by Morbid Angel. Now you may note that the lasagna is purple, but as I already said, color is not everything. It's the meltiness and the cheesiness which matters the most, and this looks like a well-stirred concoction. I was one of those 1% of millennials that actually liked the green and purple ketchup when it came out, so to me, this looks like a cheesy bowl of goodness worthy of any altar. We're gonna move on now to a hobby of mine. I like to take a few things that are completely unrelated and try to make a story out of them. And so that's what we're gonna do for these next three albums. We have Excretion of Mortality by Cerebral Rot, Steeping Corporeal Mess by Fetid, and Chambers of Deprivation by Encophonized. Combine these images together and what you get is a triptych detailing the biological experience of lasagna being consumed by a human organism. Here we have what appears to be an entire village discovering the ecstasy of triple cheese lasagna circa 7000 BC. And then next we get a lasagna's eye view of the digestive process, uh, similar in part to Hyperdontia's nexus of teeth, except the main difference is that nexus of teeth is clearly a sarlacc eating Dippin' Dots and uh, not related to lasagna in any way. And finally we have the lasagna being born as it is. Now, for the next 50 albums in this list, what we're going to go ahead and do... At this point in my research, I realized that I was unsure of where to go next. There were simply too many options. So many cheesy lasagna album covers that I could go on forever. Do I talk about this poor guy that spilled the lasagna he was going to serve? This isn't even an album cover, but the colorful lasagna is falling from the sky. 
I don't even know what's going on here. But if there is one conclusion that I can boil this all down to, it would be that metal is clearly one of the cheesiest things on Earth. This has been The Average Poser. Have a good day. Dollar investment, uh, not too shabby.